As much as we love many of Bethesda Game Studios' single-player games, the studio continues to be notorious for its technical mishaps. It isn't just their games that are playing host to strange bugs and glitches, their Bethesda launcher has seen its fair share of issues as well. Its numerous inconveniences and its general lack of key quality-of-life features have already proven to be contentious enough among PC players, especially as Bethesda is gradually making the transition of hosting all of their games exclusively on their proprietary launcher rather than on the far superior Steam platform. But some of the more recent hiccups, particularly where Fallout 76 is concerned, have left users concerned and baffled. If you play the beta on PC, then I don't have to remind you that the launcher at one point faced the issue of deleting all of your files right before re-downloading them all over again. With files amounting to roughly 50 gigabytes, what this meant was that many users were unable to participate in the beta on the day this glitch occurred, as a download of that size would take hours for most people's internet speed. Fortunately, Bethesda made up for this by adding additional hours to future betas, and I believe they have since resolved this particular issue, as there haven't been any additional reports of game files being automatically deleted. But if you've been following Bethesda for some time now, you'll know that that for this particular studio, getting rid of bugs is like playing a game of whack-a-mole. You smack one in the head and before long, another one seems to pop right back up to take its place. The latest bug was first reported on Reddit via a user going by the name of Pip12345, who posted a thread titled, Fallout 76 Beta Can't Be Uninstalled Until You Buy It. So whereas before people faced the issue of the launcher mistakenly uninstalling game files, now people are facing the issue of being unable to uninstall game files. Hard to say if the two issues are related, if in trying to solve the issue of the automatic file uninstallations, Bethesda has unwittingly made it so that the launcher won't uninstall files, period. Regardless, as evidence for his claim, the user linked to the following video where he tried to uninstall the program through the Windows control panel. When they do so, a message pops up that reads, quote, You do not have access to this game. Please check to make sure you are signed in with the Bethesda Net account associated with the purchase of this game. You can see on the top right here that this individual is indeed signed in, and yet the launcher insists that the user doesn't have access to the game. Now, whether this issue is isolated to just people who receive the beta code but haven't bought the game, or if it's something that's happening to players across the board is hard to say. The website VG247 has apparently seen both people who didn't buy the game and people who have bought it report this issue. So the current assumption is that perhaps it has something to do with Fallout 76 servers not being live anymore. So maybe once the game launches on November 14th and servers go live, players' accounts will be able to access the game and the launcher will be able to uninstall the game properly. Even if we assume this is true though, for those who didn't buy the game, since they won't technically have access to the game even after it launches, they're wondering if they'll just be stuck with this error message. Now, this right here is definitely not the end of the world or anything. If you want to get rid of Fallout 76 files, there are plenty of other ways to do so. If you know your way around Windows, there are plenty of ways you can just delete files manually. Or you can also download third-party software that will cleanly uninstall programs for you. But that's just Bethesda's thing now, isn't it? Rather than their products working right out of the gate as intended, they'll ship with all these strange problems that players have to take extra steps to resolve, whether it be through unofficial patches, mods, file edits, or third-party software. They're like a clothing company that always ships their clothes with a few tears that the customer has to sew back through unofficial means. Now, in this case of being unable to uninstall Fallout 76 via the launcher, there are some pretty simple solutions to this, but at the same time, Bethesda's at a stage right now where they need to start instilling more confidence in the notion that their proclivity for unpolished releases will improve over time. Bugs like these were more acceptable a decade ago when Bethesda was still up and coming, but they now have a lot of experience in the arena of AAA development. They have had ample time to think about ways they can sort out technical problems for their games and their other software like the Bethesda launcher. And yet, games like Fallout 76 continue to be a mess in terms of optimization, and the launcher continues to be more of a liability than a benefit. Players would be more keen about Bethesda's transition from Steam to a proprietary launcher 
if it actually functioned properly and was feature complete, but as it stands, the launcher still remains half-baked after all this time. And look, no game or program is ever perfect or fully free of bugs, they are present even in the most polished of software. But for Bethesda, their technical problems aren't mere minutia, they are pervasive and very basic obstacles that are not excusable in this day and age for such a prominent studio and large company. A launcher that automatically uninstalls your game files and then later makes it a hassle to uninstall game files should not be a problem Bethesda should be dealing with in 2018. This is a studio that has fantastic ideas, and when you play their games you can glimpse so much brilliance and potential with how uniquely open-ended their games and worlds are, but they continue to be held back by their lack of quality assurance. They may have been able to get away with this a decade ago, but people are becoming less and less tolerant and patient of this stuff with each passing year. I do wish them all the best in sorting stuff like this out, but when there is a repeated pattern of the studio releasing products that don't just work, that people have to fix themselves one way or another, what was once funny becomes very frustrating indeed. So if you ask me, things need to change about the way they develop software at the company, whether it be building a new engine for their games or finding a new workflow or new quality assurance system for programs like their proprietary launcher. There's only so long you can have the reputation of being that company with the silly and pervasive bugs before it starts to become a disconcerting detriment moving forward. These are one man's thoughts and opinions anyway, I'd love to hear what your take is on Bethesda's latest technical mishap in the comments below. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content and would like to support this channel directly, consider donating on Patreon. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.